everyone, my name is Emily. Um, this is my first, or sorry, first, fifth year at the University of Utah. And so for my childhood dreams, it was funny because when I watched the last lecture and I, uh, you know, watched it and it was funny because as I was going through it, I had a hard time kind of coming up with childhood dreams because I don't really remember them. Or I think some of my childhood dreams, they were actually like, they're more adult dreams. I've all I've always been I, I I've honestly I've always thought that I've been an adult stuck in a child's body. Um, but anyway, so we're just gonna go throughout all of them and uh, think of them what you will. But so for my first childhood dream, I've always, or at least I think I always have had a passion for writing, and I think that being a writer has actually been a childhood dream for me. I've always loved books and I've loved, um, you know, before I could read, I loved being read to. And then, you know, as I was um, going up in age, you know, reading with people and then finally reading on my own. Um, and then I've, all, I've always loved the idea of being an, a writer and having something, you know, put in uh, something by me put into writing you know for the world to enjoy or just think of it what they will um, I can't really say that I've achieved that dream just yet but it, it still is a childhood dream for me and the way that I kind of li live with that mentality though is I do I do try and take on a philosophical viewpoint for everything that happens in my life or almost everything I personally believe that that things pretty much always happen for a reason. I don't really believe in coincidence. And so even though I haven't really like written a novel or anything, I, I have that mentality of being a writer where I think of, you know, why things are the way they are and how can I talk about something in a different way but still convey the same meaning. Um, for my second uh, childhood dream. Again, like I said, I feel like I've always been an adult stuck in a child's body. But for my second childhood dream, I've always wanted to be a mother. Um, ever since I was, I would say like three years old, or even more so like two and a half years old when my little brother was born, I just, I loved helping my mom out when he was born, you know, whether it was like helping to like grab his bottle or like, you know, she was giving him a bath, like being there when uh, she was giving him a bath, things like that. Um, and I'm not a mother yet, and I don't plan on being a mother for some time, um, but I kind of take on a motherly role in like in friend groups or even um, or, or at work or something. I just, I love making sure that everyone is okay and everyone is, um, you know, how, asking how their day is going and making sure that they know that someone cares. And I think that part of being a mother is that you, you do take all, you don't really think about yourself a lot. And I'm not saying that to brag, but I do, I do spend time thinking about other people and I spend time thinking about how their days are. Um, especially recently, I started volunteering at the Children's Center, which if um, y'all don't know, it is a therapeutic preschool and so for three hours a week I go into a therapeutic uh, preschool classroom and I interact with the kids and I have fun with them and that's kind of how I'm a mother right now I I love running around with them and me and especially for a lot of them unfortunately they have experienced abuse or they even have like PTSD or they have you know behavioral problems and even if it's just for three hours a week I try to convey like someone cares and you know and they just want to be played with and I and I love being in that role and I can't I can't wait like I mean I can wait but I I can't wait for um, for that to happen but at the same time I think part of being a parent and being a mother uh, especially especially being a mother or parent is that you don't want your kids to want for anything and my brother and I were very fortunate where we didn't have to want for anything um, where like we always got what we needed. We, we didn't always get what we wanted, but we always got what we needed. We never felt like we were cheated out of anything or that we didn't have enough. And that was really important to us. Our Both of our parents were established in their careers. They were as ready as they could be to have kids. Um, but yeah, so being a mother is my second childhood dream. Um, my third, I guess, which would fit more with the childhood dream is actually being a Disney princess. Um, I have always loved Disney. Um, my favorite Disney princess is actually Cinderella. Um, so when the live action movie came out a year and a half ago, like you bet that I was excited. It was just, it was a dream come true. Um, and even though I can never be a Disney princess because I'm five foot one and 
especially like at Disneyland where you have to be like 5'9 to be a princess there. So that part's not going to happen. But at the same time, I think that being a princess or a Disney princess is that you have a certain way of treating people. And I do, um, I do try to live by the Cinderella motto of have courage and be kind. I don't always, I'm not saying that I always do because I'm human and I, um, and I'm not perfect, but I definitely try to live. I definitely try to live by that. Um, in everything that I, uh, everything that I do and how I treat people, um, even if I don't like them, I think part of the whole have courage and be kind motto is that you can be just as kind by not being unkind so to speak you don't have to go out of your way to be mean to someone um, and that in itself is also being kind um, so yeah those are my childhood dreams I can't wait to hear about everybody else's but thank you guys and we'll see you around